what Elaine Stritch said before she passed. I don't know when she said it before she passed, but I think she died last week. But she says, the terrifying thing in my life is that I am just an actress, and I have to keep pushing it and getting approval, 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 or I don't think I'm worth two cents. And I'm starting to get over it, thank God, and I'm just sad because I don't have many years left, and I wish I had a longer space of time to think that Elaine Stritch is okay. You guys, I think the amazing thing as a woman who's been in the business since she was like 20 years old, 60 some years she was in the business, well, all the way up till the end. You do not need someone's approval to validate your existence. You deserve to be here. <laughs> Everybody in this room deserves to create. All of you deserve to take whatever little slice of pie that we've all been granted in this existence on this go around. It's a beautiful gift. You have this amazing, unique journey that is called yours. That's already the reason to celebrate. You don't need somebody to tell you you should celebrate or you can do that. It's already yours. We have to stop looking at the business, casting directors, agents, managers, teachers, parents, siblings, for that which must come from self. So it keeps reminding me, why are you acting? What do you want to do it for? Why are you doing it? What kind of statement do you want to make? How do you go into rooms and create a new paradigm so that you show up and come back integrally back to doing it yourself, for self? That's not selfish. That's fully inhabiting self. Then I started thinking, I said this the other day, or, or, or I'm working on another book actually, and I was just back out in this flow, and all of a sudden things just started coming. And I wrote that, and I was like, whoa. And I wrote down, at least I thought it was whoa. But I think this is very speaks to what I'm talking about. You are the star of your own movie, and you keep casting yourself as the bit player. I don't know why I'm getting all like, I don't know. But that's the truth. You are the star in your own movie of your life, and you keep casting yourself as, you know, the under five. Stop doing that. Why? Why are you doing that? What's this star quality about you that you have to bring that's unlike anybody else's? It's not more unique or more special than anybody else's. It's just yours. That again comes back to you validating your own experience for it being your experience. You guys, it can't come through the confirmation of a job. That's, that, it's just never going to be through the thing. It's never going to be through the thing. It's all subjective anyway. So, yeah, before I forget that, I want to say that thing about it's all subjective. You know, one of the things that I also mentioned in Monday Night's class is we have to stop giving so much energy and time and focus on trying to hustle people and um, um, uh, try to get people to like us and try to win people over who don't matter. <laughs> oh, that's so liberating. And I started thinking about that. When I was in my 20s in New York, oh my God, I would jump through hoops for people that ultimately now when I look at my life have contributed to the value of my life this much. <laughs> they were people with opinions that I acquiesced my own power to because I wanted their approval. Where are they now in my life? They've not contributed in my life. The people that have contributed in my life are still in my life. You see, it's very interesting. If you think about it in terms of the people that you're seeking to get approval from, oh my gosh, you guys, the people who are gonna get you are gonna get you regardless. You trying to get people to get you, they're never gonna get you. So stop giving energy to those people. They're not gonna get it. They're never gonna get you. It's like dating. You can get in there sometimes for a little bit, right? Yeah, you, you got somebody's interest for like three weeks or four weeks, but actually even there, you know. They t text you randomly, or no, they only text you after midnight. So you are, which is fun, that's fine, those, those kind of, that's fun. But if you are thinking that that's gonna be an investment in somebody who really gets you, eh, that's not it, you see? They're never gonna get you. Now, sometimes we do an inside job on ourselves because that's what we think we deserve. So we stay in it for a lot longer, trying to jump through hoops, getting them to like you, getting them to want you, getting them to desire you, getting them to see how amazing you are. When you don't see that of self, you don't celebrate that of self. You must start doing that, people. We have to do it, ah, I just keep saying we have to do it every day. And you know what, you have to reboot every day. I think I was talking to another friend of mine yesterday, I've just been having coffees with all these people lately, and 
We were talking, and you know, sometimes I mean, maybe people think, I don't think this because I'm always the first to tell you I'm figuring it out as I'm going along. That's maybe why I'm a good teacher because I'm learning it as I'm teaching it. But sometimes we get this uh, incorrect belief that people we see that are doing something that they have it all together. Nobody does. However, awareness gets you further along. Awareness gets you to change more quickly. Awareness gets you to adapt and change the things that are getting in your way. That doesn't mean you're still not going to struggle. That doesn't mean you still won't have some days that are harder than others. And every morning you have to reboot. People, you have to reboot. So tonight you're going to walk out and you here feeling inspired. I know you will. I always say, oh, I'm inspired already. You see, I need to get my own lesson. So I walk out of here thinking, yes, everything is possible. I can climb K2. I can do it. And then tomorrow morning I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, it started again. So you just have to reboot. Reboot. People, you have to reboot. And you know what? Nobody's going to reboot it for you. For the short term, a partner can. A teacher can, a lover can, an agent can, a manager can, a job can. It's not sustainable. It's not, it's not sustainable in something other than self. It must be an inside job. I just want to end with this last part. Uh, uh, you know, these were just random thoughts that I had, but I think they were all connected. And I think it has to do with being in the ownership of the star of who we are, all are. And when I mean being the star, you guys, I mean just being authentic. I mean showing up and being brave enough to be honest. Uh, being a star means going into a room and being uh, bold enough to do it your way. A star is uh, seeking connection. A star is all these things that we all inherently have as people. I'm not, I'm not, that's star quality because that's actually presence. All these qualities are germane to the moment and how you fire yourself in the moment, meaning how you fire up in the moment, how it gets you fired in the moment. That's authentic. That's a real palpable, tangible thing. It's not fake. So don't, don't be confused about that word star. I just mean the star quality of you is somebody who shows up in a very integrous, real way with flaws and all, which is all we want to see. Not at all together. That's fake star quality. That's reality star quality. That's interesting. No judgment about reality, but there it is. It's the truth. It's the idea of what it is, but it isn't real at all. To have real star quality is to show up with all of your stuff. No apologizing for it. Here's your homework. Find three areas in your life where you're not showing up as a star in your own life. It's going to be tricky. People have been thrown by it all week. What do you mean? Relationships. It could be siblings. It could be lovers. It could be agents and managers. It could be a, a teacher. It could, any, any kind of, uh, it's all relationships at one level. It could be vis-a-vis -vis career. It could be vis-a-vis -vis, uh, a job. It could be vis -a, -vis a boss. In other words, where is it that you are putting yourself in the back seat? Maybe you're needing to communicate your needs and you're not. Maybe you're not showing up in the way that you know you can show up. Maybe you're not being honest. Maybe there are things that you wanted to communicate that you haven't communicated it because you're too scared to do it because it's going to upset the apple cart. Do it. That's an example of putting yourself as a bit player. So three areas. Try it this week. Whatever three speak to you. Make sense? Well, that was... Let's go have a murder.